Hey guys and welcome to this exam week vlog. In this vlog I'm going to be doing a lot of studying as well as cooking some healthy recipes that I wanted to share with you guys. I just finished an end of the rotation exam and I did well on it but I wanted to share with you some of the activities I did leading up to the exam. So I'm first just starting off the day with a healthy breakfast. I like to do my smoothie in the morning and then I've also been doing an energy drink with zero sugar just to get me going for the day because I have not been getting the best sleep due to staying up and studying. I just feel like I've had a lot on my plate and it's a lot to juggle and I usually end up staying up pretty late around 12 to 1 a.m. each night. During my exam week, it's really important for me to stay on top of my meal prep and make sure I have a lot of healthy whole foods available in the fridge. So here I am just chopping up some vegetables. I love doing zucchini, yellow squash, and eggplant. I just roast these on some baking sheets in the oven with some olive oil and salt and pepper and it makes for the perfect side dish if I'm just wanting to add vegetables to my plate. I love incorporating a lot of colorful foods and eating very healthy and clean during my exam week just really helps me focus, stay energized, and make sure my brain is sharp. To study for my exams, I usually take a lot of handwritten notes. I fill up notebooks with the amount of information that I write down, and for resources, I use Quizlet, I use review questions, as well as my previous PowerPoints and notes from classes. I have a total of nine rotations before I graduate, so I have a few more months left of school, which is super exciting. I'm currently on my seventh rotation, and each rotation is a different specialty in medicine. I'm really enjoying being a student and learning a lot from helping patients. After each clinical rotation, we have an exam and lectures in between, so that is what I'm preparing for. As you can see, I just made some green beans, some zucchini and squash. I also made a crock pot chicken recipe with some chicken breast, artichoke hearts, sun-dried tomatoes, onion, and garlic, as well as some spinach. This turned out super amazing. It was such an easy recipe, and it's pretty healthy as well. I just combine it with some vegetables. I also prepared some corn and quinoa for starches on the side. And for a sweet treat, I made a low-sugar cheesecake brownie. I will have the recipe linked down below for the brownie cheesecake. It basically combines artificial sweetener, chocolate, cocoa powder, and cream cheese. And then for a late night healthy smoothie, I just made a chocolate peanut butter shake with blueberries, peanut butter, avocado, protein powder, a little bit of melted chocolate that is low calorie, and some cinnamon. For the next part of this video, I'm just going to be showcasing a recipe I made for a chocolate shea and cocoa butter body butter. This body butter is super hydrating to the skin, it's antibacterial, and I also added in some exfoliating properties to the butter this time. I really like using these natural ingredients for my body butter. This just combines some African shea butter that is unrefined and unprocessed with some extra virgin olive oil, some unprocessed cocoa butter, as well as a little bit of cocoa powder just to add a brown coloring to the butter. This also adds a little bit of a natural tan shade when you apply it to the skin. I'm also adding a little bit of hyaluronic acid powder. Hyaluronic acid acts as a humectant, so it draws in moisture to the skin. I'm actually blending up a seed of an avocado that I just chopped up on a cutting board. The blender is going to crush it down into fine pieces that can be used to exfoliate the skin. And I'm also incorporating a little bit of baking soda as well. Exfoliating the skin is just going to help renew the skin layers. It's going to remove any dead skin cells that are collecting and can harbor bacteria and it's just going to reveal soft, new, fresh skin. After I combine all of the butters and the rest of the ingredients I mentioned, I'm just going to be blending it up with an electric mixer and actually let it set in the fridge for a couple of hours. Once it has set, but it's not too hard, I pull it out of the fridge and I whip it up again with the electric mixer. 
And that is going to complete this chocolate cocoa butter shea butter body butter. I'm just going to add it to a reusable jar and it is ready to be used. This makes for a perfect skin moisturizer after the shower to lock in moisture. You can also use it as a body butter for massage. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and this exam week vlog with some cooking ideas and some studying. I hope everyone is doing well, sticking to their goals, and I will see you soon in the next video.